Hello, Matriculants. I'm um, Great Wells. Okay, welcome back into our lesson video. Um, guys, mind you, we are still under rural and urban settlements. But today, we are going to be discussing more nucleated and dispersed patterns. So, we're going to be more on these different settlement patterns, namely, nucleated, dispersed pattern as well. Okay, so although we have already discussed um, in the previous lessons more about these um, uh, segments. Today we are going to be looking uh, or revisiting more and more to them. Um, fundamentally explaining more about these nucleated and dispersed patterns, the differences, the advantages, as well as disadvantages. Okay, so as you can see on the top, uh, we have a question there, and the question says, why are dispersed segments better from an economic point of view? Okay, basically this question says that um, dispersed pattern, okay, this is dispersed pattern and this is nucleated pattern on, the, on our list, left hand side. On our right hand side picture, we have dispersed pattern, okay. So basically, this question reveals the fact that dispersed pattern is um, better from an, an economic point of view than nucleated pattern. Okay, so we're going to be discussing more about these facts um, that have been revealed by this question. So the question also. As it says why dispersed segment better from a point of view, it also trying to, to create a deeper understanding about nucleated pattern and dispersed pattern. Um, okay, so in a question paper, these kind of questions that you are going to be dealing with um, in, this, in this concept that I will be explaining and so on, they usually come out. So please, guys, pay attention. Okay, first of all, as you can see, nucleated pattern, okay? The buildings are closely packed to each other, okay? Buildings are so close to each other, buildings are grouped together, are grouped one another, okay? Yes, as you can see, okay. On the side of a dispersed pattern, you can see that there are a few houses. This household is so far from the other one. There is much distance between them, okay? And that in the distance between them, it's not just um, a distance um, or unused land. It's used land for farming, okay? The distance between those um, households, okay? As you can see here, we have this household here, okay? We have this household. We have two households here on this side of this past pattern. And the distance between these households, you can see that... Um, it's um it's 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 farming okay it's 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 farmers okay it's there are crops between these um fundamental households but if you if you look at the side of a nucleated pattern you can see that the houses are so close to each other okay there's no space and so on okay yes but let's look at the points okay as I explained. Nucleated and dispersed pattern, okay? Yes. And also, guys, we say uh, for dispersed pattern, it's also isolated pattern, okay? In other ways. So don't be um, confused when you hear or see the word isolated pattern. It's also the same um, word as dispersed pattern, same meaning, okay? Yes. Okay. As you can see that in nucleated pattern, buildings are close together okay in nucleated pattern but in dispersed pattern buildings are widely separated okay yes so there's distance between them they are far from each other buildings in the side of dispersed pattern isolated patterns okay so mind you guys were discussing and revealing the fact that the dispersed pattern is better from an economic point of view okay so first of all we have on the side of nucleated pattern 
it says that there are loose patches of land. Okay? But in the side of a dispersed pattern, the large single farm. Okay? There's a large single farm, I can say. Okay? So this basically means that the loose patches of land, there is small land that belongs to someone in this side, but in this side, there's a large single farm, okay, that belongs to someone. Only one person who have a large single farm. As you can see, this household here, here, okay, they have this farm, they manage this farm, okay? This farm belongs to, to him, okay? The whole farm here belongs to him you see so meaning that he have an advantage of growing more crops he has an advantage of making more more profit than this one on the side of this related pattern because there are loose patches of land there's small land that belongs to someone okay four men manages okay as you can see in this side get okay, him rub here as you can see in this side of enumerated pattern that um, see this land here this land this land is being managed by many men okay there are many people that this land belongs to okay for instance this land belonging to someone this patch of a land belongs to someone this patch of a land belongs to someone, okay? But on this side of a dispersed pattern, the whole land here, which is even more than this side that is managed by many people, belongs to only one person, okay? Yes, so this sentence or this point means that manages farm himself, for men manages, meaning that the farm is being managed by many people, okay? no independent decision okay but on this side there is independent decision meaning that if there is no independent decision meaning that you can't decide what to do in your own land in your own farm okay mind you this is your own farm okay there's no independent decision okay yes but here there is independent decision okay if they want to grow um, potatoes, if they want to grow tomatoes in this season, they will, without consulting someone, they will use these pesticides without consulting someone, they will, and, 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 I think you understand, guys. Okay, so, in this side, it says they live on a village, okay, but on this side, they live on a farm. So, this basically means that someone okay let me wrap just before i i explain guys okay so i didn't get confused okay so on this side of a nucleated pattern as you can see that they live on a village but on this side of dispersed pattern the, the manager of the farm or the owner of the farm lives on the farm okay so this is a is a disadvantage if you're living on a um, village while your farm is living alone meaning that there's no time let's let me just make an example if you are staying here and this is your this is your patch of land this is your farm okay you don't know what's happening in your farm um meaning that you can't grow your crops effectively you don't give your crops time you don't invest in your crops okay Meaning that that's going to, to increase the disadvantages of not making a profit or making enough crops. Okay? Yes. But on this side, they live on a, on a farm. Let me make an example. Someone who's living, a farmer here, they just, they live on a farm. The minute they go out of, of their house, they just, they have just, um, um, they just on, on their farm already. They grow their crops effectively. They see everything that is happening on their crops. They see the problems. They see when to, um, 
apply the pesticides they see when to irrigate they see the problem with their crops meaning that they are growing their crops effectively okay that's why they live in a farm that's why it's more advantageous meaning that they are going to grow more crops they are going to make profit they are going to grow healthy crops and so on okay so lots of traveling as you can see this side i made an example of someone who is living here there's a lot of traveling in order for you to to get access into your into your farm they have to travel as you can see the road they have to travel they have to travel this road they have to travel they have to travel they have to travel until they reach their their farm okay you see that long distance you see that um time that is taken for for someone to arrive in their farm but here there's no need to travel as i showed you guys that the moment they come out of their of their house they're already on their on their farm they live on their farm there's no even no need to say they have to go out and so on they live on their farm they can even look at their window okay and see the crops see there are crops and so on okay yes there is no traveling in this side okay yes mechanization difficult mechanization easy okay this means that as you can see okay there is there are no water bodies here there's we can't even see a river that is passing through you can see there's no river that is passing through and so on. meaning that it's even hard to irrigate it's even hard to to find things to make their crops effectively but on this side of the dispersed pattern you can see a huge huge river huge huge river here and this river might be on on its um lower course about to be on mouth okay let's say it's on mouth or in a, on a lower course meaning that there's huge amount of water to irrigate as the river is very wide and so on okay so the irrigation process here is is taking place okay meaning that they are growing their crops more effectively and so on as you can see that their crops are green and their crops are healthy by even looking okay that's what this means okay guys um thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe like and comment um to to to, to my videos and so on okay see you in the next following lesson guys um more content is coming out um please don't forget to subscribe thank you so much cheers